question is from Haley Phillips 34. I'm not feeling very sore a day or two after I go to the gym. Does that mean I'm not working out hard enough? Should I increase my rep ranges or weight? I remember when when I thought soreness was a good indicator yeah. of of workouts. In fact, that was the I think we've all been there. Well, yeah. I, I remember the first time I read that it was actually a sign of overtraining and Ugh. it blew my it just shattered my paradigm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, cuz up until that point uh, that was what I was always seeking. And if I didn't get sore, I was disappointed in the workout yeah. and can thought of it as something that was- It's almost worthless. Right. right? That's yeah. how, it, that was the attitude until I read that. And it, I believe it was an article that it, it, back back when I was going through my NASM, I think they had shared it and I had read that and I thought, what? It's actually a sign of overtraining. Mm -hmm. And so- it's a, it's a more accurate sign of that than it is of a good workout. It's a terrible, it, it doesn't tell you at all yeah. Yeah. if your workout was was good or not. I, I the in, here I'll take it a step further. I didn't make the best gains of my life until I stopped getting sore. Yeah. Okay. So before that point, every workout, the the, the one of the main goals was can I make myself really really sore for the next few days? And if I didn't, I'd go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way yeah. to get myself really sore. No. My best gains came from when I stopped getting sore. I wouldn't get sore from my workouts, and I was getting the best gains ever. And it was because I figured out exactly what you said, Adam. Now, I, I wanted. I also want to be clear that I'm sore today. Uh, I over. I overreached, and so that's how I look at it now. Is I, I overreached a little bit in a perfect world for myself when I'm trying to uh, gauge like how hard I push myself or how much volume I should be doing because that changes, right? Like your consistency. Uh, the workout I did that got me really sore right now is mainly because I've been really inconsistent the last, you know, four weeks or so ever since I got sick. So I overreached. Uh, normally when I'm in a, a rhythm and I've been training very consistently, I don't overreach like that. So what I'm looking at is can I add volume uh, either through lifting more weight by increasing the weights uh, that I'm lifting or increase intensity within the workout without getting sore? That is a win all the way. If I know that, hey, this workout, I did more today than I did the previous workout like this, or I lifted more on my bench or I lifted more on my squat than I did the previous time and I don't get sore, that's a fuck. That is a, right? That's like when you hit, when you hit a baseball and you hit right on the fucking right where you're supposed sweet to spot, the yeah. sweet spot and it feels effortlessly and the ball sails versus when you muscle it and it get, gets out in the outfield like it's, i think there's degrees too you know there's degrees of like i feel tight and a little bit restricted versus like i feel like like you know like i can't even lift my arms you know like there's, there's <laughs> been degrees of where i've like crushed myself and like i know too uh this is where it's crucial in the very beginning if you're a beginner and you're working with a trainer you're just doing this on your own uh and, and you're you're trying to to get the most out of it and where you know you feel that soreness is kind of normal like the first few weeks you're going to you're going to feel like a different tightness a different stimulus and that's okay if if you're going if you're exceeding that to where it's like pain and like it's hard to get out of bed and like you 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 know that's definitely not a place that's optimal you could draw a very clear and now that I think about it you could draw a very clear line uh in my career as a trainer that will tell you on one end of that line, I was not a good trainer. On the other end of that line, I was a really good trainer. This is actually, now that I think about it, probably one of the best metrics for me in terms of gauging how good I was. And here's what it is. Before that line, when I would ask a client, you know, they would, I'd train them, I'd take them through a session, then I'd see them for their next workout a few days later. Ask the following they were week. sore. I'd say, hey, yeah. how sore were you? And if they said to me, oh my gosh, I could yeah. barely move. Like, I couldn't yes. even brush my teeth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I used to think to myself like, yes, we did a good job. Got yeah. you. Now, on the other side of the line, when I became a good trainer, if the client said to me, um, I, I, I kind of felt it a little bit, but not much. Oh, we did a great uh, job. Yeah. We yeah. did a good workout. Let's stay there. Yeah. Totally different. Uh. On one end, I was a terrible trainer. On the other end, I became a very successful trainer. I preferred, actually, I, I would, the, the goal was for my client to not feel sore, but rather feel maybe a little bit like they worked out. Like, oh, I could kind Listen, of feel if the muscle. Listen, if they're not sore but energetic. And, and you're adding weight to the bar, you were fucking winning. Oh, that's a hundred. That's the best. Yes. Oh, yeah. If you were adding weight to the bar, and or able to increase intensity into the in the workout and you are not getting super sore from that you are fucking winning totally body totally. is adapting getting stronger building muscle it's happening totally. so that is that's the sweet spot and of course when you're trying to hit that you tend to sometimes flirt with the overreaching a little bit and that's your kind of gauge of okay like i the way i'm reflecting on my workout on saturday 
that hindered me with lifting on Sunday because I overreached and I'm really sore still today is I went, fuck, I could have eliminated that exercise or mm-hmm. I could have stopped at two sets instead of doing four sets. Like that's yeah. what, how my brain is mm-hmm. working because I did way more than I needed to, to get my body to start to adapt and change. So I'm always ser- searching for that. But the next workout, I want to make sure that I stretch myself a tiny bit and then not get as sore. If I can do that, boy, you're winning right there. That's It's what funny. For. Like I don't, I don't really get sore from workouts anymore. I get sore from yard work. <laughs> like that kills me, dude. Like I was helping my dad the other day move some log rounds, and it's just awkward sizes, and you know you're leaning over a lot, and of course you're trying to like max exert to be able to get things going. And man, just killed myself. Well, that's because your goal isn't to work out. No, your goal get was done with the job. I got to. Yeah, I don't yeah. care how much it hurts. I got to finish the job. <laughs> so totally. a workout's goal is not. Yeah. It's funny when you're working out, you're not like building anything or moving anything. Right. You're picking up weights and putting them down. The goal is to get your body to progress and Different soreness. Mentality. Soreness does not indicate a great workout. It, 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 quite the contrary, if you're really, really sore, it indicates you had a bad workout. Whoa, that's what we, we had a great discussion. So this person, if you're if uh, you didn't listen to the episode we did with Max Marzo, uh, he got into this and he actually talked. What I forget what he what he uh, uses a term. He, of, there's like a there's like a minimal effective dose. There's a maximal effective dose. There's a minimal dose that that where it starts to take away from your progress. And right. A, yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I forgot what he called. Yeah. It, there but. comes there becomes a point where even if you're getting you're getting sore sure it doesn't mean you can still progress because there's obviously somebody there's a there's definitely people listening right now they're like that's bullshit I get i'm sore, sore all the time crazy. and yeah. my body looks great and I, yes it, you there there's a point though when it, the the returns on it are start to diminish mm. and you're doing more and you wouldn't and you're not getting any more had you have done less and yeah. that's the point point. and like, i also would challenge them and say okay fine you get really sore and you're making progress Try not getting so sore. Yeah, you're still going to make progress. And watch your progress accelerate. You'll yeah. actually get better Even progress. Even better, yeah. That's right.